Yes. Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna tell a little story before I do it. Um, before I do it, that's really when I'm on stage. I say before I do it, y'all should be really scared because you don't know what I'm gonna be talking about. <laughs> like, what? Just to let you know, in case this is the first like gay songwriter you've met, a lot of a lot of gay songwriters are completely normal. I'm not one of those normal ones. So <laughs> if I say anything tonight that misrepresents my demographic, I apologize. <laughs> so um, yeah, the, the gay Japanese Jewish demographic part of one. Thank you. Uh, so. Normally, uh, when I do this song, I, I give this whole introduction to it, but I'm going to give an introduction that has nothing to do with it, just because I think it's funny, hopefully you will too. I was going to show out in uh, Boston, uh, BU, for their Filipino group for a Typhoon fundraiser a few weeks ago, and normally I'm a cheap ass and I take the Fung Wah bus, because I like watching pretty women dubbed in Cantonese or Mandarin, and um, this time I decided I'm going to be cool. I'm going to drive my mama's, my mama, I'm going to drive my mom's Honda. Because if you're a college kid, and I was telling this to the audience, like, if you're 19, you drive your mom's car, Honda, or whatever, that's cool. If you're 32, <laughs> so the thing is, when you ride the bus, you get to look at the cars on the highway on I-84 and be like, look at all those crazy people singing along with the radio. They don't know that I'm staring at them. Well, I was one of those dipshit assholes this time, who was the crazy person singing along with the radio. Which would have been fine, except I was singing along to uh, this song. Love is a battlefield, a battlefield, a battlefield. <laughs> get your armor, get your armor, get your armor. Now that's cool if you're like, you know, 20 and you're on American Idol. But if you're 32 and the little girl in the car next to you starts pointing at you and singing along while you're singing to Jordan Sparks, don't fail. So, it was only marginally better than that one time I was off in Nevada doing a tour on the way to Utah and this song came on, which I never remember the words to except for da 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 and big girls don't cry. Which would have been fine, except while I was singing this, <laughs> thinking that I was possessed by the ghost of Shania Twain, or no, that was Fergie, sorry. A trucker pulls up alongside me, and he's got the whole mullet thing going on, you know, part serious in the front, party in the back, and he's got like no teeth, and he's smiling at me. <laughs> and I look at him, and I'm going, no homo, no homo, no homo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. When I say no homo, that's a sign of desperation. <laughs> anyway, having nothing to do with that whatsoever. Oh, there was a segue. Sorry, ADD. What? Butterfly! 